Hi everyone, it's Melissa from the Sonoma County Library. I'm here today to do a pumpkin craft with everyone. So let's get started. And really quick before we start, here are some of the pumpkin carving and pumpkin decorating books we have available for curbside pickup. So to begin, we're going to use a brown paper bag and scissors and a pen or pencil or marker. You can also use a plain piece of paper for this part. And we're just going to cut this into four squares. And you can see they fit on the pumpkins. So now I'm going to take each of the four squares and draw some faces on them. And as you can see, different uh, eye shapes will make different, uh, different pumpkin expressions. So you could have a happy pumpkin or a evil pumpkin or a scared pumpkin or a cat pumpkin. So now we're going to take our scissors and cut out the designs. So first I'm just going to open up the squares because they've got part of the bag attached to them still and since these are going to be stencils we want that piece gone. You can also reuse what you cut out to create even more stencils. I'm just going to take each stencil and fold it in half so that I can cut a little hole. You can see my finger sticking through uh, so that it's easier to actually cut out the designs. So now that I have my stencils cut out, I'm going to paint my first pumpkin. So First of all, what we're going to need is some tape so that we can attach it to the pumpkin. We'll have some paint, some paint brushes, um, a cup of water for the paint. You may or may not need that. And uh, I'm using a palette, but you could also use a plate, maybe a paper plate. And you can also use markers for this if you don't have paint. So here I'm just fixing the stencil to the pumpkin with some scotch tape. And now I'm taking a sharpie to draw on the pumpkin. And we'll take some paint and paint it in. And there's my painted cat pumpkin. So now I'm going to show you how to carve a pumpkin. First thing I'm going to do is once again tape my design to the pumpkin. Of course, if you are more artsy than me, you can also just freehand the drawing on the pumpkin, but I needed the stencil. 
so here he is. And now I need a plate or a bowl to put the pumpkin insides into. I have some tools that I got from a pumpkin carving kit, but I think you could just use a kitchen spoon and then a knife. And please be careful with this. If you are younger, then you might want to have a parent supervise you during this part or get their help with the cutting. I did draw a circle on the top to make it easier, but you don't have to do this. And once again, please be careful when you're using the knife. So now I have the top carved and you'll see there's a whole bunch of seeds and pulp and we're just going to put it on the plate. Now this part is really important. I just want to point out to you that uh, see how there's so much inside. We need to get that all out because if you're going to be using a candle, um, all of that is flammable. So I would actually recommend using an electric uh, candle. But if you do use a, a real candle, um, you really need to make sure you get all of that inside stuff out so that you don't accidentally start a fire. Okay, so now it's all clean on the inside, and I got a little messy on the outside, so I'm just gonna go wash off my hands and wipe down the pumpkin so it's not slippery. And then, of course, if you save all of the pumpkin insides, you can even use the pumpkin seeds to roast them and make a tasty snack. All right, so here is the pumpkin all wiped down and clean not slippery at all because we want a good grip and we're just going to take the knife again and carve out the design. So lastly, we'll see that the top of the pumpkin still has some pulp on it, and I'm just going to use the paper towel so my hand doesn't get all the little pumpkin spikes on me from the stem, and I'm just going to scrape off all the pulp and seeds because that part is flammable too. I'm putting it on top, and now I have a little electric battery run candle instead of a real one and placing it inside to show you how it looks. Here are some of the other pumpkin designs that other Sonoma County Library staff created. So you can get some ideas and remember you can do whatever you want for this whatever type of design you could even paint and carve at the same time thanks for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed and learned something if you would like to see more content like this don't forget to subscribe and click like and thanks for watching